Hello everyone, I am Sham Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of probability and this question has been taken from the book of Sheldon Ross. Now the question is as follows, if 8 rooks are randomly placed on a chessboard, compute the probability that none of the rooks can capture any of the others. That is, compute the probability that no row or file contains more than one rook. So this was our question on the topic of probability and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that I've tried the question and you've got the solution and if we didn't then let's check the solution. So according to our given question we are given a chessboard and 8 rooks such that we have to find the probability of putting these rooks on chessboard and none of them attack each other. Now we know that if we put a rook on a chessboard it captures all the players in its row and all the players in its column. So we can say that if we place a rook over here then it will block this complete row and this complete column. Now we have to do so for 8 different rooks and all of them have to be on the same chessboard. Now if we place a rook on this chessboard that is a single rook on this chessboard there will be no problem. So let me place this rook over here. Now if I place this rook over here then I have blocked this row and this column. Now if I block this row and this column basically I have blocked 16 places. Now out of the 16 places this place is occupied by this rook only so I have blocked additional 15 places. So if I place only one rook on a chessboard there was 64 ways. Now if I have to place another rook on this chessboard I can do it in 64 minus 15 that is 49 ways. So the first rook can be placed in 64 ways, the second rook can be placed in 49 ways. So suppose I have played the second rook over here. So I have blocked this row and I have blocked this column. So I have blocked another extra 15 places. Now I can say that this is already blocked and this is already blocked. So I have additionally blocked only 15 minus 2 that is 13 places. So I can say that the third rook now can be placed in 49 minus 13 that is equal to 36 ways. So again counting the first rook can be placed in 64 ways, second in 49, third in 36 and we can see that it is following a pattern. The first was being placed in 8 square ways, second in 7 square, third in 6 square. So I can say that all the rooks can be placed in 64, 49, 36, 25, 16, 9, 4 and 1 ways which are the squares of 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Now since the event is completed when all the 8 rooks are placed on the chessboard, so I will use the multiplication theorem and multiply all these numbers. So the total number of ways in which all of them can be placed on the chessboard is 64 into 49 into 36 all the way up to 1. Now you'll notice that we'll have a lot of duplicate items because all these 8 rooks are considered to be same. So we can say that in order to delete all the duplicates we have to divide them by 8 factorial. Now we know that 64 is 8 square, 49 is 7 square, so on all these are squares. So we have basically 8 factorial square in the numerator and if we we'll divide it by 8 factorial our result is 8 factorial. So there are 8 factorial ways in which we can put 8 rooks on the chessboard such that none of them attack each other. Now we had to find the probability of doing so. Now if we had to randomly place 8 rooks on a chessboard, we can simply do it in 64 C8 ways. So our probability is basically number of favorable cases by total number of outcomes. So I can say that our probability is equal to 8 factorial by 64 C8. Now this is our final answer and you don't have to calculate the actual value, you can leave it over here. So this was an excellent question on the topic of probability and if you'll solve such questions, it will not only improve your concept but it will also help you during your exams. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram 
or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy.